Hi, I'm Rob from Sentu, and today I'm going to show you our BIM 360 integration. Sentu is a reality capture data platform where we take your terrestrial laser scans and compress those into a multi-resolution mesh, which compresses the data by 10 to 20 times. This unique compression technology allows this data to become cloud compatible, allowing you to collaborate, share, distribute, and analyze this rich data compared to BIM models retrieved directly from BIM 360 docs via our BIM 360 app. So let's take a quick look at Sin2 in action. I'm going to click on some scan data that was transferred over from Autodesk Recap. The first thing we're going to be able to see is the 2D panoramic view. If we go up to our settings, we can actually turn this into a 3D surface view. What's unique about the 3D surface view is that you can go in, the tighter you get, the deeper the resolution you receive. This is something that is truly unique to Sentu. So let's get started with how to install the app. So I'm going to go to my BIM 360 account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So while that's loading, uh, I need to go and make sure I'm in the account admin. Uh, you need to be an account administrator in BIM 360 in order to do this one-time install of, uh, of Sin2 application. So just go click on the apps. And now we're going to go down to Sin2. And basically uh, what you see here is information about Sin2 Cloud and you'll also have a button over here called Install. Uh, obviously, I've already installed this application, but that is, uh, that's how you do it. Pretty simple setup. So now let's go show you how an end user uh, would go ahead and bring in their model information. So I'm going to go into my Send2 account. Uh, this is my current project I want to work in. And what we recommend is that you when you bring in models, you should put those in a separate work zone. In order to create a work zone, uh, you can just go over here to this green button and just add a work zone. I always call mine BIM model, which is what you'll see I've created over here on the left. Uh, once I do that, I would then go into that work zone. Um, I've already got this, this model here, but uh, here's how you would do that. So you basically go to Upload Models. Uh, you can do it from your hard disk and IFC, but uh, this is all about BIM 360. So I'm going to go to my BIM 360 account. It's going to ask me if I've been authorized. I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Uh, it, this here is just an authorizing again, making sure that I'm the right user. I'm going to go ahead and allow myself to connect to my, my BIM 360 site. And here is my hub name. And then I'm just going to go to my project. And then I'm going to go look at my project files and models. And uh, like I said before, I brought in a Revit file, but I could bring in a, a Navisworks model as well. So I could bring in an NWC. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and import. And then I'll get a notification that pops up saying that this is being processed and we will notify you by email when this is uh, ready for you to download. Uh, like I said, I've already done this. Uh, it takes about, depending on the size of your model, anywhere from two minutes to maybe 10 minutes uh, to do this. But here is the confirmation email that you get from us when it's done and you just go to click on open your project and this will take us into our project. So what I'm gonna do is click on our base uh, set of scans here, our base work zone, and I'm gonna look at this in our 3D view. And now you will notice that the BIM model is now in our project. So I'm going to change this to an x-ray mode. And I'm going to go in here to a level where I think there may be some issues. I'm going to go back to my surface. And uh, I want to check this area for some issues so I can, I can create an issue report. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is go over here to our comparison tool. I want to compare all scans to all models. And I'm going to run a visual difference tool. So what this will do is basically looking at the scan position I'm at, looking outwards, it's going to show me everything that is outside of my tolerance in red and everything that is inside of my tolerance in green. 
So right now we're set at 0.66 feet, but let's say uh, I wanted to go to, let's say a quarter inch. So everything in red is outside of my tolerance by a quarter inch. Uh, another way I can justify this or, or look at this is to actually click on our visual check tool. By doing this, I now have a slider where I can look at, this is a scan data, this is only scan data that, I am, that I'm looking at. And as I move it to the right, this is my BIM model. So this is just kind of a secondary check, just so you understand where you're at and the layout you're in. Um, once you've completed this, like I said, you go back here and you could create an annotation. And you would just add the information needed. So I would create this as an issue, uh, give it a title. A severity level, I'll make this high, uh, give it a due date. Let's go April 30th, and here we can type in text. Uh, we can assign it to somebody on the team. So once you assign it to somebody, um, they will get an email, which will take them back to this location. So now we've created an issue. From here, we could go up to our reports, and you'll notice that this issue we just created is there, and I have the ability to export this out as a PDF. Or I could also export this out as a BCF or BIM collaboration file, which is used in many other uh, issue tracking software solutions. So that is it. A uh, simple process to connect to BIM 360 and bring in your BIM models for comparison. Uh, any questions, please feel free to contact us at contact at sin2.com or sales at sin2.com. Also recommend that you go to our YouTube channel and look at some of the webinars that we have recorded. Uh, been some great content around creating QA, QC workflows uh, that export uh, the issues that are created out to other applications. So make sure and check it out. Thank you.